Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create your own template uh, for a MIDI controller in TouchOS C. So here's a template that I created that I use mostly with uh, uh, the Vienna uh, Symphonic Library instrument. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to create your own. So the first thing that we're going to do is to launch the TouchOS C uh, editor. This is something that you can download uh, at this link that you can see right here and um, so I'm gonna launch the uh, editor once I have the ed editor open I need to choose for which type of uh, device I'm gonna uh, program so I'm gonna choose iPad and when you choose iPad you can also choose vertical or horizontal so I'm gonna choose the horizontal um, landscape type of uh, layout now it's time to create our own uh, faders and knobs. So to do so, it's very simple. You can just right click and choose for from this uh, list of, of uh, um, objects that I can add. So let's say we're going to do uh, a fader. And I can resize the fader the way I want. So let's do one like this. And then I'm going to add also um, a label. Okay. This will allow me to identify what that fader is doing, which type of message that fader is going to send. Um, the next step is to decide what that fader is going to send, which type of MIDI message. So I'm going to select it. I can rename it if I want. In fact, let's rename it. And let's say that this is going to send a control change number one. You can choose a different color. And then I need to choose which type of message is going to send. So we're going to choose MIDI. We're going to check that box that enables it. We're going to choose type control change. And then we have to answer the control change number. So we said modulation control change number one so you're going to do one and this is the range that usually you want to leave from 0 to 127 to have the full range uh, i'm going to also take care of the label so i'm going to maybe have it of the same color and i'm going to specify that it's going to be cc1 so that i can see what that controller is once you have one setup it's very easy to set up more so you can just select both press command C, copy, and then command V, paste, and now I have a perfect copy of the previous one. If I want to create a series of them, I can just again copy and paste, and now I have four. Of course, I need to change the parameters, right? So on my second one, I can say, well, this is going to be of a different color, maybe, and it's going to send control change number uh, let's say 11 let me just put this one back to one and of course I'm going to change it on my label so I know that that's 11 and then this one I can do uh, yellow control change is going to be maybe 7 volume and again I'm going to change the label so that it reflects what that controller is and this one maybe I'm gonna do uh, orange and it's gonna be control change number 20 and I can go here and change it to 20 so as you can see it's very easy to add objects and to create your own templates if I want I can add a rotary uh, controller object and the system is the same. If I want this to control pan, I can just turn on, enable it, and say number 10, that's pan, right? And I can again copy and paste a label there that I'm gonna also have in red and say this is gonna be controller chain number 10. And you can keep going. I mean, as you can see, it's very, very, very easy, right? So you can, um, do you know all sorts of things you can you know be very creative and and keep adding um, keep adding things um, as you as you like
all right um, if you if I right click up here I can add a second page see I can have different pages it's also useful if you want more controllers that would fit in a in a screen so how do I transfer this now to my iPad so first thing you need to connect your iPad to um, your computer um, on the same Wi-Fi network all right the second thing you have to do is to launch the TouchUSC bridge again this is something you can download directly from uh, uh, the website from this website you launch the bridge this is just the connection that the computer and the iPad need in order to talk to each other then I'm gonna go to sync and when I press the sync button this window comes up and this window says to sync the current layout make sure your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network and then open TouchOSC on the iPad and navigate to layout and add so let's do that I'm gonna close I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second this is my iPad so I'm gonna go back here to the main menu I'm gonna go to layout and at the top here there is add you're gonna see your your Mac showing up here this is the Mac on which the bridge is running and because I didn't save the um, the template from my Mac is telling me oh, watch out there's one template one layout with the same name already and I'm gonna say okay um, you know just make sure to, to save it with a name and now um, here I'm gonna see that I have my untitled one template so if I select it and click done here's my template right here so it was transferred to my iPad course I can stop syncing now and as I said uh, just make sure that on your Mac you save the template right so I can say you know MIDI controller and I'm ready to go and that's it now to connect your iPad to your DAW simply make sure that you have the bridge on and with the bridge on what you can do is to go back to your settings on your iPad and make sure you go to touch USC bridge and you're gonna see your studio Mac and you're gonna tap there and now the connection is established I recommend using the USB connection so just connect your um, iPad to your Mac through a regular um, lightning connector or um, USB-C connector depending on your iPad and that that connection is more reliable than just a pure Wi-Fi and this is how you configure and use TouchUSC bye